Hello, and welcome to what I believe is going to be the penultimate WWE 2K22 Identity Crisis featuring this man here, known as Six. Man of many gimmicks, in fact, but uh, yeah, Sean Waltman is, uh, is going to take on himself in this one. And we're in the old, oldest Raw arena available because it's about the right era from when X-Pac obviously would have competed in this Raw arena. Uh, but he also was in the NWO. Now, in WWE NWO, he was still known as X-Pac. But, you know, it's the closest I've got to an arena where both Six and X-Pac competed. So, yeah, 2005 Raw. Similar to 2002 Raw, which is, I think, the year uh, maybe... Three, but I think it was only 2002. Yeah, was the, about the year where the NWO re, in WWE thing happened and blah blah blah. So yeah, um, not too many years out. The yeah, back. So yeah, this is um, this is going to be an interesting one. Let me know in the comments who you prefer. Uh, what what gimmick of Sean Waltman you prefer? Could be one, two, three, kid. There's, there's also numerous others, but they're a bit more niche. Um, and NWO or DX? Because Sean Waltman isn't the only man to have been in both DX and the NWO. Because Sean joined in WWE, but he's the only man to be in the real NWO, as in the one in WCW and the real DX, i.e. Peak DX. Like, I, I'm fairly comfortable saying that. Before all the reunions and stuff. Wasn't it in the original, original DX? Because I think it was in the NWO at the time. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, it was in the first run of DX that sort of spanned Sean and Triple H in China and Rick Rude all the way to the Outlaws and X Pac and, and what have you. But yeah. One of the most... The only man to have been in both of the most successful factions of the Attitude Era on both sides of the divide. Quite the claim. Quite the claim. So, Six and X-Pac. Referee rings the bell and we're underway. And Six covers up, but eventually X-Pac breaks through the defense. And a nice back elbow as well. Now kicked to the gut by Six. And a neck breaker puts X-Pac down. Kick to the gut. DDT. And six with the, the slight upper hand in the early stages and gets a one count off the DDT. It's going to take a bit more than that to put away either variant of Sean Walkman, to be perfectly honest. Cue someone telling me about a match where he actually lost to a DDT. But, you know. You know what I mean. Not that early in the match, he probably didn't. Oh, look at that beautiful spinning wheel kick off the top rope by Six. But then tries to follow up with an elbow drop, and X-Pac actually managed to dodge out the way. Snap suplex. Okay, time for X-Pac to try and build a little momentum here, I think, because it's been mostly one-way traffic so far. And just maintaining wrist control and kicking Six in the side of the head repeatedly. Now X-Pac up to the middle rope. Oh, goes for a crossbody, and Six with some impressive strength, actually, catches... X-Pac and slams him down. Now now does hit that elbow drop and now goes in for the pin. Look at that. Forearm across the face. No love lost for himself <laughs> in this one. Willing to do some dirty tricks to try and get an advantage. Back up to the top rope again is six. Look at that swanton. Okay. Busting out all the big high-risk moves. Now, into the corner goes X-Pac. Kicks him down. Uh-oh. I think I think I know what Six is thinking here with X-Pac in that position. Bronco Buster by Six to X-Pac. Probably not very common for X-Pac to be on the receiving end of a Bronco Buster. One. Two. Ooh. X-Pac just rolls the shoulder at two. But yeah, this, is, this has been... 70-80% in Six's favour so far in this match. X-Pac really struggling to get into this one. Oh, that, that'll help. Absolutely floored Six. And then again, this time with a kick to the head instead of a kick into like the midsection. Spins him round. Uh-oh. Crossface chicken wing. 
He's going for a submission victory, having not really built a lot of momentum, but you don't always need it if you can lock a submission in. Nice, but no. Six managed to break the uh, the leg cross at the ankles. And uh, oh, look at this. This is vintage, Sean Waltman. But no, because it's vintage, x Park knew it was coming. He knows his own tricks after all and counters it. And now the X Factor, a little bit out of nowhere, honestly, but this could be enough to put six away. One, two, three, he got him. Ooh. He took a lot of offense from six and he kept himself in the match and then he ended up winning it. Kudos to X Park. Leave a like if you enjoyed this match and this video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Just because this series is reaching its, uh, its climax doesn't mean the content will stop. So do feel free to drop a sub so you don't miss anything going forward. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I will see you next time.